Hello and welcome everybody to Glitchy and Phoenix Talk Shit, or Phoenix and Glitchy Talk Shit. I still really need to make sure which one's which. Haha! <laughs> Probably the alphabetical version. Anyways, today's topic is something that I am extremely, extremely fucking passionate about. And that is... People who do not comment on videos... Or not videos, sorry. Who do not comment on fanfiction or original fiction that is posted online on websites where it's... Not required, not expected, but it would be really good if they do. And then these people get offended when the writers, the authors of whatever it may be, fan fiction, original fiction, whatever, stop updating their stories. Yeah. I mean, if you're not giving them any incentive, then you're not what's giving the them point? Any, if you're not giving them any feedback, I should say, then, then it's why? not really giving us an incentive to continue doing this it makes us feel discouraged it makes us feel like we're seeing the numbers of views we get and even maybe the favorites or recommendations whatever but we're not seeing comments and i'm sorry if you're not gonna sit there if you're gonna sit there and not comment on my writing that's gonna make me as well as a large amount of other people think that we're not worth your time yeah you yeah. fucking yeah you you might have read our story or you might have recommended us or favorited it even but you didn't leave a comment why not are did we do something wrong were we not good enough to you know warrant a comment i mean hey what's wrong now now, now don't get me wrong i don't always comment and i don't always comment and, but and, and when i'm reading not... a friend reading shit for my damn cell phone it's difficult well and not only that but it's me not commenting is not because the writer did anything wrong. It's not because the story wasn't good. It's because either A, I favorited it and liked it and, you know, I don't really have anything other to say about it. Other than Even just other, saying thank you would be good. You know, or, you know, maybe I'm in a hurry and I'm doing stuff. And, you know, because I, I'm always multitasking. You can ask Glitchy. Uh, I, and I'm a multitasker as well. I literally, you can ask my boyfriend, honestly. I can have anywhere from up to 10 to 15 tabs open at once, doing different things at once. And I can understand that things get hectic, and I can understand that, you know, you don't always have time for stuff. But if you're sitting there at your computer, and you don't even have time to say a simple thank you, but you have time to favorite, you have time to recommend, you have time to whatever, and actually also read the whole story, just fucking say thank you. Just, it doesn't have to be massive, you know, it doesn't have to be a story in itself as a comment, you know, it just has to be, hey, thanks for writing this, I liked it. Or, if you have a more of, of an opinion on it, don't get so wrapped up in being polite that you pick apart everything you want to say and think that, oh, they don't want to hear what I have to say anyways. Yes, we do. We really do. Trust me. Yeah. We want to know what you think. That's why we put it on the internet. That's why we put it out there. That's why we posted it. That's why it says and at the top of a status bar, hey, please leave a comment. Or in an author's note, please leave a comment. We want because... to know what the fuck you think about what we put our hearts into. Yeah. And it's not and that frankly, hard. And frankly, if you have an idea for a story or an aspect of the story, maybe the author hasn't thought about it that way. Exactly. Maybe they may not take your advice. They, but that's just but it's, artistic it's liberty. Some, they don't have to take your advice. Yeah, but it's something, if you don't put it out there for someone to see, how are you gonna know? And it's something to think about for them to think about. Exactly. And frankly, you know, it kind of works the same with our YouTube videos. Yeah, we want you guys to comment. We want you guys to subscribe, obviously, but we want you guys to comment and tell us what you want to see. Mm -hmm. Give us ideas for topics, you know. Yeah, um, I mean, if there's a particular topic or something that you're passionate about and you want to see us cover that we haven't, or you don't think we will, let us know. Give us a comment. And maybe it's something obscure in the news that we haven't read about. Or right. maybe I personally it's... don't read the news because it's fucking depressing. But I mean, if you want us to cover it, I'll, I'll read about it. I'll fucking find out about it and I'll talk about it. We will talk about it. Well, and, and frankly, 
you know, my the extent of the news that I enjoy is video game news, and it's because for my job, mm. I, I, you know, I write about news and reviews. I, I mean, will, uh, my, the extent of what I like to see in the news is, you know, oh, a new book's coming out, or one of my all-time favorite books is being turned into a movie, and it's actually by a director that I really, really like. Or hey, there's another X-Men movie coming out, and it's gonna feature Nightcrawler. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but the whole point of this is we want feedback we thrive on it and I don't just mean Phoenix and I I mean every author out there if 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 you sit there and you want to say that you know people are too thirsty and yes I'm actually referencing a blog that I read er earlier whilst er, in between us making videos just now and honestly quite frankly it pissed me off because the person writing the blog said that she or he, I, I'm really not sure what they, what it was, who it was, but the person said that they felt that people are have become too thirsty for comments and feedback and whatnot in their writing. And I'm sitting here like, excuse me? Excuse me? Bitch, you have 20 to 30 comments on this one fucking blog alone. That's called entitlement. That's called being rude and not understanding that not everybody gets the same amount of attention as you. You're getting and feedback. You're getting attention. You're getting reviews. You're getting comments. And, and frankly... This person... How, this, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. And frankly, how are we supposed to come up with every single topic for, you know, a story? Right. Uh, you know, or maybe even, you know, for videos. We have a list that's working, you know, that we add to every so often. Yeah. But eventually, eventually maybe... the ideas, you know, run out. How do you yeah. think? How do you think different YouTubers got so famous, especially gaming YouTubers? Not everybody in the world knows about every fucking game in existence, and you know, sometimes it's sometimes they're old games, sometimes they're new games, sometimes they're just you know not well known. And uh, I'm gonna talk about Jacksepticeye again. He didn't know, there was quite a few games he didn't know about until people asked him. And there's plenty of other YouTubers out there and gamers and writers and whatever that don't know that these are topics people want to see because they aren't being told. They aren't being asked. They aren't getting feedback. They aren't getting any kind of attention other than a recommendation. I'm sorry, but what does a recommendation do without feedback? Yes, it gets your shit out there, but if those other people that are coming into your shit because somebody else recommended your shit, don't comment, don't give feedback, don't give any kind of fucking thing, yeah, we're gonna be thirsty. It's like walking through a goddamn desert and you come across an oasis or something, you come across somebody selling some fucking lemonade. And you're like, ooh, can I get some of that? Nah, sorry, we'll just recommend, if you could recommend us. Or, you know, hey, nobody else is gonna fucking know. And you're gonna sit there being thirsty, and you're gonna sit there being like, help me, please, give me something. And, you know, in, in regards to, it's the same principle in writing. They may not take your suggestion. That, but know, at least you get the accomplishment to know that you fucking tried. Not only that, but you know, with, with us, if we take your suggestion and do a video on it... We're gonna shout we, you out! Well, we're gonna shout you out, but we may not share the opinion you have. But... But it's still a topic to discuss. Yeah, it's still a topic to discuss. And you'll get to hear our opinions on it. Which, yeah. even if they differ from yours... You're getting dialogue. You're getting a back and forth. Interaction. Exactly. And honestly, you know. when I post, it's a huge, it's a, it's a fucking huge ordeal for me personally to put my work out there. To put my writing or even our videos, honestly. I still get a bit of a sickening lump in my stomach of nerves when we post something, or when we start doing this, or when I personally post fiction on Meba, on fanfiction.net, even though it sucks, on adultfanfiction.net, which I don't really go there anymore either, because it sucks too, because people are assholes, and you know, other websites. When I post my work, I'm terrified. 
And you know what I'm terrified of? Not getting feedback. And Even people... negative feedback is some sort of interaction, is some sort of exchange. Yeah. Because even if they tell you, you know, well, I didn't like this story, or, you know... Why? Um, well, what did, what did you not like? Yeah. Or, or even, you know... Maybe you should have said it like this, or maybe... I know for a fact that my grammar is terrible, or punctuation, rather. My punctuation is terrible. But how am I going to know that I need to fix something if nobody's going to, you know, call me out on it? And, and frankly... I, I get nervous a little bit when we post videos, but I'm also oh, spider. I'm also excited exactly. because and, and that's why we're we're doing these is because we're excited to get our, our word out there. Yeah, we're excited our to get our opinions, out there. our fucking views, and you know. And mm -hmm. I've been wanting to be entirely honest. I've been wanting to do a YouTube channel um for quite a while. So have but I. where but where I live. The internet is not good enough for me to be able to upload videos on my own. Mm -hmm. And I don't have the setup to record myself. I mean, you can see I don't really look all that great in this corner where I'm at because the lighting is terrible. Because um, I don't have my own room. So, it took Glitchy and I working together to start this channel. Yeah. And, and it's one of my dreams getting realized because I want people to know what I think. Um, and I want to discuss topics, you and, know. You know, we're not even, you know, sitting here doing this, trying to get partnered. If we get partnered, hey, sweet. Love That's it. fantastic. That's I, awesome. I would be okay with it. Yeah. You know, but we're not we're not sitting there trying to grab at money or grab at fame or anything like that. If we even just like I've said this before, I think in, in previous videos, if we even just get one person watching us and we just brighten one person's day or make one person think huh, oh, I'm kind of being a douchebag. I should probably stop that. Or, you know, if they sit there and it's a timid person and they think, hey, I can, it's actually okay. I, no. I, it, then it's good. Then I'm happy. And if we grow a community, if we grow a community of like-minded people or even people who have differing opinions but are, you know, able to tolerate each other and, you know, be cool with each other, then cool. That's awesome. That's fucking amazing. Yeah, I mean... But we're not expecting fame and fortune and all this other shit. We're just putting our opinion out there. We're doing it because we want to. We're doing it because we like it. Also, we're doing it... Also, Phoenix, there's a spider. <laughs> Kill it. I can't. It's at, it's on, it's like in such a place where I can't actually like smush it with anything. Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> and, and honestly, hey, to be entirely honest, if we weren't recording, we'd still be talking about this shit anyway. Exactly. So, I mean, we're just Why getting, not put it out there? We're putting it out there for you guys, you know. As much um, as we are for ourselves. Because we want to be entertaining, and we want to... And we say some of the most horrendous shit sometimes. The most ridiculous, asinine shit comes from us. Oh! Today's video, we're gonna start doing this thing if we if we continue to remember it. But the quote of the day is... What'd you say about monkeys? <laughs> <laughs> this I video is that. brought to you by the quote of the day, which is... What'd you say about monkeys? What'd you monkeys? say about monkeys? This was birthed from a conversation we were having whilst I was playing Dragon Age Inquisition and he was editing some of our other videos. And he was saying something about somebody being an ass monkey or a douchebag or some shite like that. And I can't fucking remember what it was, but it, was it, prom monkey, yeah. Yeah, it prompted me to say, what did you say about monkeys? And thus we laughed about it. It's kind of one of the things of you'd have to be there to hear the whole conversation, but at the same yeah. time it was fucking glorious. But yeah, we're going to start doing like nonsensical, like quote of the day basically or quote of the video we have another one for the next video i just forgot to do it in the previous video i'm not gonna lie yeah and i forgot what it was actually i forgot about the ass monkey one until you mentioned it <laughs> well honestly or we can say it in this video too it doesn't matter uh the other one was fucked out of the closet or something oh uh unfuck the closet yeah, yeah. unfuck the closet 
Which, I don't know what we were talking about. I literally, I cannot remember what the fuck we were talking about. But I'm fairly sure it had to do with the YouTuber Joey Graceffa and how every single video he has done... Recently. Recently, since coming out, has been, you know, it's, it's literally become focused on how he's gay. And like I said, I don't care if you're gay, if you're straight, if you're bi, if you're, if you're uh, transgender or whatever. You're being yourself. But literally, don't make your preference, your sexual preference or your gender base be the entirety of your existence. There's more to you than, than just that. Yeah. And that and there was something we were talking about and it literally spiraled into a rant between the two of us that we weren't recording and I think I tripped over my tongue and said unfuck or um oh god what was it? I heard unfuck the closet. Yeah, he heard uh, unfuck the closet. But I, I said something else said. and I'm not really sure what the fuck it was we said. Or I, I said. think it may. I think you you might have been saying something about Joey Grisepka got fucked out of the closet or something. No, I really don't think it was. I think it was something along the lines of he didn't just you know come out of the closet. He fucked his way out or something. I don't know. I was being facetious. I was being ridiculous. I was ranting my ass off, and I don't know. And we're not hating on Joey Grisepka. I'm not hating on him. I'm not you know disrespecting him or anything. I'm just saying. I don't know what the fuck I said. Don't <laughs> get me I'm wrong. And I'm fairly sure it had something to do with him. Don't get me wrong, I'm not really a fan of his. Um, some things that he's done annoy me. Um, um I used to, I, I was never really a fan of his, but I do like collaborations he's done with other YouTubers that I really like. And we're not, you know, bringing these YouTubers up to garner their attention or get famous from them or anything like that. It's just... A lot of our involvement and a lot of our lives revolve around different things, and we're going to bring those things up. Be they yeah. YouTubers or authors or shittiest fucking game developers that need to get a fucking clue. And, and like I mentioned in the last video, I'm hoping to do a series of videos um, like... Glitchy and Phoenix's gaming corner, or something like that. I'm where... actually fairly sure that's what our little one of our fucking playlists is called. I think I, I named it that. Um, because we haven't got videos in that playlist yet, mind you. Because I do a lot of gaming news stuff, and some of the things that I review, people don't necessarily hear about. And there are some things I've been I've been playing video games since I was three years old. And there's a lot of things in the gaming industry that I'd like to talk about. A lot of games that I think need to be, you know, discussed that people don't normally know about. Speaking of, I'd um, like to discuss, this has, I don't know if it's really, you know, out there in the world very much, but I know it's been on Reddit, and it's a streamer that I like to watch sometimes, and his name is Thorlar. He just broke a Guinness World Record for biggest pixelated artwork in a video game. Oh, I... Is it the uh, StarCraft one? Yes, it is the StarCraft one. I saw that. It I I like just thought of it, honestly. It did! It was amazing! I sat there and my mind was like... <laughs> like, whoa, yeah. dude! And he I literally actually... did it all on his own. Over, like, a course of two weeks or two months or something like that. I can't remember. I but, think they said it was like 23 days or something. Jesus! Only 23? It was like 23 point something. Yeah. Um, and it was like eight hours or four hours a day or something like that. Hang on, I'm gonna look it up. Yeah, look it up. And honestly, if you wanna if you wanna catch any of his streams, he's pretty cool. He wears funky, funky little hats all the time. I and, found it. Okay. Um, we'll link his uh, Twitch page in the description. Oh, not 23 days, 23 weeks. Oh, 23 weeks. I was going to say, was if he close. did that shit in 23 days, that's not close. There's a huge difference between 23 weeks and 23 days. Yet. Well, but I had this the 23, right? Well, that's yeah. what I mean. Yeah. Um, <laughs> also, in case anybody's wondering, I did trip my bangs yesterday, so. Because seriously, they were down here and constantly getting in my eyes, and when they start tangling in my eyelashes, that's not okay. Literally, literally, we didn't record any, uh, Wait, did we record videos yesterday? Yes. It took us a while to record any videos yesterday, 
and my bangs were bothering me the whole time, and thus I kept having to use my eye drops. So, yeah. <laughs> also, I'm going to point out hmm. that Thorlar is donating all of the donations from his live stream ah, yeah. to the Irish branch of Make-A-Wish. That's amazing! So, I um... I thought was Danish. Never mind. Mm -hmm. So, I don't... all of the donations that he got while during making During those 23 this, weeks. During those 23 weeks, he's going toward the Irish branch of the Make-A-Wish Foundation. That, that is, is fucking, fucking amazing! amazing. And this we literally I'm... just said that at the exact same time! And this ah. is what I'm talking about when I say that the gaming industry is full of good of people! Good, of good people that, you know, people may not know about. Exactly! It's full of good deeds being done daily, and again, I'm gonna bring up Markiplier! Because uh, he's been doing donations when he streams, the few times a year that he does stream, they... All the money that he makes in donations and in people buying his shirts and other merchandise and stuff literally goes to Make-A-Wish, to Doctors Without Borders, to Cancer Society, and, and different, different fucking huge things that need money, that need support, that need funding. These people get out there and they do this shit and they're gamers and you know what they do to make the money? Play video games! So please, world, do not let yourself be affected or drawn away from gamers or drawn into hating gamers by the f masses that are assholes. Because there's also masses of good people. And, and you know, I've actually participated in charity live streams. I'm not the one streaming. Right. But I take to Twitter. I spread the word. And I um, participate by spreading the word on Twitter, by spreading the word on Facebook, by spreading the word on Tumblr, if I'm able to. You know, by spreading the word on other, any social media that I'm on. Or if I'm out in public, and I think that somebody, you know, or if I see somebody who's wearing a gaming shirt, I say, hey, you know, this person's gonna be streaming, you know, for charity. Maybe you wanna check it out. And if I have the money, I Fuck donate. Yeah. Exactly. If I have, if on the rare occasion that I have the money to donate, I'm gonna do it. For instance, um, when Markiplier was doing his streaming and, you know, selling the shirts this this year, most recent last time, we didn't really care, we didn't really like the shirts, it's terrible, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but the, I didn't really, you know, like the shirt. It was a little too artsy for my tastes, and a little too loud, which sounds completely ridiculous with how vibrant a person I am, like, physically and emotionally and loud and whatnot, but the shirt really wasn't my style or my boyfriend's style. But had it been something that we really, really wanted, we would have donated the money, even even though at that time we didn't have the extra money for it. We didn't have the extra money and we didn't like it, so we didn't donate. I'm sorry, that's terrible and I'm horrible. I'm sorry! But if we had had the... Ha, even, but th what I'm saying is, even though we didn't have the money to actually, you know, just give at that time, had we liked the shirts, we would have gotten them. And... I'm, that's just me basically saying, we didn't have the money at the time, but if other circumstances had, you know, been in favor, we would have done it. We would have done it. And honestly, people want to sit there and say, you know, these, these, these... Oh, a perfect example of people hating on others for doing donations or not, you know, doing things. Um, the water bucket challenge for the ALS, the ice bucket challenge. People literally started hating on Lady Gaga and a few other people, and actually a large majority of people were being, you know, condescending and disrespectful to a bunch of artists who were dumping buckets of water on their on their on themselves because they didn't understand that they that the people who were the famous people who were taking the buckets of ice water and pouring it on themselves were also donating hundreds and thousands of dollars. They weren't just you know soaking themselves in ice water; they were also donating. Because yeah. the whole basis of the thing was either take, if you get nominated, take the ice bucket or donate money. Well, you know what? They did both. And I'm not gonna lie, Tom Hiddleston fucking wearing a white t-shirt soaking wet. <gasps> Loud. It was glorious. Um, and, and we've, I we've tell gotten, you, he know what he was doing. He knew gotten, what he was doing. We've gotten worlds away from our original topic. We did, um, but... But, you know, I guess the thing is... We, as content creators, have yeah. a symbiotic relationship with you, the video viewer. And if you don't, you know, if you don't feed us, 
then you're not really being a contributor. And I, I, I mean, that may sound harsh and that may sound like we're being whiners, but the truth is a symbiotic relationship works when both creatures or both entities are cohesive and con both entities contribute to said thing, said relationship. So please. Please. I've said this before, but please. Please. Even if all you do is hit the thumbs up and subscribe, preferably subscribe. <laughs> but even if all you do is hit the thumbs up, but you know, that takes maybe a second of your time. A millisecond of that, depending on where the you mouse know, is. <laughs> if, if we put a smile on your face at least once in any of our videos, then if, give us a little love back. Uh, yeah, honestly, if all you have is the time to maybe put an emoji in a comment or something like that, do it! Trust me, we want your comments, we want your attention to a degree because we're putting this content out there for you, the viewers. And, and we want to know what you think. Exactly. And even if you, you know, if you're a shy person and you're sitting in front of your computer right now and you're going, you know, Make a throwaway I have, account. You, you know, I have an idea for a video, but I don't think they'll take it. Tell us anyway. Exactly. Tell us anyways, because you never know until you try. Yeah. So, so we're going to end the video here, yeah? Yeah, I think that's probably where we should leave it. I'm <laughs> sure we've run off with the mouse for... Minutes. Yeah. In, real quick, I'm sorry these videos have been super long lately, but life is starting to happen again, so I might there might be a, a lull in newer videos, but we are going to be putting out either one to two videos at a time. So, yeah, and so we've try. got some... We've got some that you guys will be seeing in the meantime, so... So uh, yeah, um, subscribe, please! Let us know! Please, please leave and a we'll... comment, please! I would love you! I don't even care if it's a shitty comment! Leave a comment! Yeah, we just wanna know what you think. Exactly, so... So, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching, thank you for being here. And subscribe! Subscribe, and good night! Night!